Ukraine's neighboring countries have reported a dip in the number of refugees. This comes as governments and volunteers struggle to find shelter for more than 2 million people who have already fled the country. Most of these refugees are women and children. People are tearfully parting with their loved ones as the Russian invasion continues. Our next report brings you more details. Take a look. The streets of Ukraine's third largest city, Odessa, were practically deserted on Saturday as the city prepared itself for a possible attack by Russian forces. Anti-tank defenses and sandbags replaced locals and tourists along the city's main thoroughfares. Shops and restaurants were closed, with many people choosing to stay home while others have fled. At the train station, many from the neighboring city of Mykolaiv boarded trains to escape. With the fighting now too close to their home, Mykolaiv resident Alexei Adedera said goodbye to his family through a thick pane of glass. His wife, on the train, tearfully said she hoped this would all end quickly. Stepping off a ferry in Romania, 52-year-old Ukrainian Elena Puchkova fought back tears while describing her shock at what was happening to her country. They're bombing Kharkov, they're bombing Nikolaev. It's only 120 kilometers from Odessa and it's painful inside. While Ukraine's neighbors reported a dip in numbers of refugees on Saturday, governments and volunteers still struggle to find shelter for the nearly 2.6 million, mostly women and children, who have fled since Russia's invasion two weeks ago. Refugees have aimed for cities with established Ukrainian communities and better chances of finding work. Kyiv resident Katerina was sheltering in a makeshift refugee center in Dombrovny, Romania. It's scary, really. And uh, many of my friends are there. And many of my foreign partners who were working in Kyiv, they are also there. I'm sorry, guys. Fighting raged near Kyiv on Saturday, and Ukrainian officials said heavy shelling and threats of Russian air attacks were endangering attempted evacuations of desperate civilians from encircled towns and cities. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.